It's a state of not being sexually active or getting married. Can I can I get an amen as a teacher? Amen. Every bad thing that has happened in your life, you should need to get over it. And this is me telling you, if you don't remember nothing else, the cycle has to be broken. And not only that, just because mommy and daddy and Grammy and great great Grammy and all these other people dealt with it, that doesn't that doesn't mean that you have to tolerate it. It doesn't mean that you have to live yeah. and your children have to live in that cycle. Hey girl, let's talk. Tell me don't lie to yourself. And say that you are guarding your heart uh, when the only thing you're doing is laying brick over brick over oh, brick and building a wall. Cause I'm just like you, I feel what you're going through. There's so much inside of me. You're a business owner, but your products and services aren't moving. It's because you've greatly underestimated the power of marketing, social media, print, radio, and television. Longley Media Group is here for you. Starting as low as $1,000 per month, we'll give you exposure, consistency, and growth. What are you waiting for? Contact us today at 805-5792 or visit us on social media at Longley Media Group, your premier spot for all your project management and multimedia needs. Call us today. I think it's a huge lack of awareness for hair loss here in the Bahamas. And I'd like to encourage people, men and women, to come into the hair restoration clinic for a hair consultation, where we use technology and preventative screenings to assist with identifying hair and scalp issues, such as traction alopecia, alopecia areata, telogen effluvian, male pattern baldness, female pattern baldness, post chemotherapy postpartum hair shedding, and much more. If you are wondering, what's the next step to recovery and control? Start here, book a consultation. Are you ready to be fabulous again? You're listening to Glory 93.9 FM. It's officially Girl Talk time. It's four minutes gone by the four o'clock hour. It's a beautiful day to be excited, to be alive. It's your girl, Marisha. Joy Nay. And Clara T. And we're officially your girlfriends for today to have some good, good, good girl talk. Some good conversation. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday thus far. OMG. Listen to me. This is the Mondayest Monday ever. This is the Mondayest Monday ever it's because of the time, change. time change, right? I was so proud of myself. I got to church a half an hour early on Sunday. I was like, okay, good. That means my body ain't adjusted a new time change yet. That means I could be getting everywhere on time. So I was so excited. I was so happy. But then after <laughs> I came home from church yesterday, well, after our church, I went to dinner. After I came home from dinner yesterday, and I decided to lay down. Y'all know that lay down? I'm going to lay down for a couple of minutes. I go on and I lay down for a couple of minutes. And when I wake up, it was still Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Sunday, 9 o'clock. <laughs> so that means your girl did not go back to sleep till like 3, 4 o'clock. <laughs> So now I am all like messed up. This time just beat me bad, okay? This time beat me bad. So this is the Mondayest Monday ever. However, this is still the day that the Lord has made. And we make a conscious decision to rejoice and be glad in it. I am being intentional. I invite you to join us. Ladies, how are y'all adjusting to the time change? Well, don't judge me, but like one time change, I didn't even notice. You know, like my, like, you know, because Apple just is do. So I, as I feel like, I as far as you're concerned, <laughs> you concerned, you don't feel like extra hours late. I don't feel it. I do. 
to not feel it. So you said, I was like, wait, Ty was even next week. <laughs> it was bad. You were no oh, time change Sunday to bad, days? bad, bad. My Sunday was long, bad. Don't wow. worry about it. Okay. It. All right, then. <laughs> no, for real, like I say, Joe, you really doing bad. Now, we say time change. What? Time ain't change for you. No. As far as you can turn. So, so, hold on now. <coughs> so, yesterday, you didn't notice that it got dark at 6 o'clock? No. Like 5.30? I did not notice. Wow. I was like, I was really just doing some other stuff, and... You won't you won't pay attention to what was going on I outside. Didn't, I did not take note. So thanks for that information. Okay, what about you, Carl? <laughs> I just wish they would do away with daylight savings and stuff. Like okay, th- this is it for me. First of all, Sunday morning, I was like looking for things to do, <laughs> <laughs> like up until it's time to start getting ready for church. <laughs> Because you had an extra hour. And listen, and I was like so pumped and ready and rested. And right. Yeah, this 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 time is it for me. And then this, for me, this is the best time of the year. Okay. I love I love the orange feeling. Okay. That orangey feeling. Yeah. Even okay. right now, Pastor Joe, lipstick and all, giving me fall vibes. That's and it's just it. everything. Okay. Your nails, like, okay. I feel good. It's my favorite time of the year. Favorite time of the year. Yeah. I was having a conversation at dinner on Sunday and um, celebrating one of my friends on her birthday. And we were having a conversation about the season that we were in. And I said to them, I said, I don't want to get preachy. And I said, I don't want to sound cliche. I said, but we're in the season of fall, which means that there are some things that are going to be falling. Leaves fall. And sometimes when leaves fall, they carry branches along with them. And I think uh, I think we have become accustomed um, um, to leaves falling now in life. I think the little things that fall off of us, the little things that we lose, in our adulthood now we've come to a place where there's expectation of loss in some way, shape, or form, of small losses, little losses. It's the branches what is hurt. It's when the things that once were connected to you, attached to you, that you were giving life to, when those things fall off, Sometimes it's hard to navigate. Sometimes it's hard to process. Sometimes it's hard to actually accept the fact that this thing has fallen away. We're not talking about letting go. We're talking about a natural process that happens without our actions or without our brain engaging this natural process of falling away. And I was sharing with them yesterday how I have come to a place now where I am okay with the things that fall away, even the branches. But I've made an intentional effort to mourn the loss, but keep it moving. So I acknowledge the fact that this thing is now like it's off. It's no longer attached to me. I don't need it anymore. In fact, it was sucking the life out of me. And now it's off. It's off. It's disconnected. There is a part of me that is exposed now because the thing has fallen off of me. And if God has chosen to expose, I need it to be exposed. And now there's reparation that's going to take place and something great is about to spring forth as a result of what has fallen away, but there is a season that's coming up where I'm going to have to be exposed because this thing has fallen away. And it is what it is, but because he's sovereign and he's in control, I ain't trying to hold on. If he say it's time for it to fall off, I cool. I, I'm sorry, I can't get over that sermon that you breeze past. Because <laughs> I could hear it mourn, but move. Move. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Ensure that you just stay connected to your source. (coughs) Mm -hmm. We, I, I, I think I've, I've used this analogy so many times in sharing with God's people, um, and I stole it from my pastor because when you understand the nature of trees, trees stop growing in height when they are no longer connected to water. They only grow out, right? So when you see a tree that's no longer getting taller, that means that it no longer has a water source. 
And one of the scriptures that we quote all the time in our church, we actually quote it every Sunday, is taken from Psalm 1, verse 3. And I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. If I'm a tree and I'm planted by water, that means I'm planted next to a water source. That means I'm constantly growing. That means there's no limit to what I can ex- how I can expand. And that's the reason that my leaves don't wither. My leaves don't wither because I'm connected to water. So there is no dry season for me. There's no such thing as a season where I am not producing because I'm, I'm planted by rivers of water. And I think that for many of us, we, we move. We move. <laughs> we move. And we move at the wrong time. And we move to the wrong place. And we plant ourselves in dry places. I believe that there's a whole lot that, that takes place by the river that we could experience, that we could encounter if we would just stay planted. But we like, we like to move. And then there are times when it's time to move because the river has dried up. You got to know when to let it fall away. You got to know when it's time to hmm, get up and go back to the place that you know yep. you were getting your sustenance from. And then sometimes you got to know this place has dried up and it's time to go. And I did not mean to be that deep, but um, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. The Lord is kind. Hey, Crystal, thanks for tuning in. Talia says, that's deep. (laughs) DeAndre says, good afternoon. Ooh, this is good, Marisha, no longer attached. That's a good hashtag, I love that. Planted by the rivers, Denisha says, and William Mortimer say, oh, he's just calling me Reverend Doctor. <laughs> that devil is a liar. No, but all that. <laughs> um, all right, so let's jump into our topic for today. Our topic for today, hey, mom. Hey, mom. Our topic for today is swipe right or nah. It's my husband, Izzy. Is I was he? trying to find the right. Oh, I thought I thought you were doing the single. <laughs> no, I swipe into the right. This is my. Like, is my right. husband on Tinder? Is my husband on Tinder? Y'all ready for this conversation today? Y'all ready for this? Ooh, child, let me fix the mic. I five. <laughs> if you are, I like that. But you four, I five. I hope y'all ready for this conversation today. For those of you who are tuned in online, please share it, share it, share it, share, like, and share the show. And for those of you who I feel like this can be a call-in show, something is telling me that this is going to be a call-in show. So for those of you who would like to call in, the number is 827-2543. Again, that number is 827-2543. And if you would like to send us a message, the number is 817-2544. 817-2544. Again, the call line is 827-2543. We're going to have a conversation with our girlfriends today about online dating in particular this whole idea of swiping left and swiping right now the awkwardness of this particular moment right here having this conversation is that i am the only single woman in this room so that makes me feel extremely awkward in this conversation because i feel like these two co-hosts i have control this thing in my direction no why would you say that (laughs) (laughs) So what I'm going to do is I normally start off with a little spiel. I ain't even doing that today. I throw in this. I throw in this in their hands right away because they are already attached. They know what process that they went through. They know what they was believing God for. So I can let the married women address the, address the situation first because they are more learned than I am and more experienced than I am. So they know how this thing go. I ain't know how it go yet. The Lord soon deliver me. But until deliverance comes my way, <laughs> I can let them start it off. So to these two ladies sitting to my, according to you, it's my left, but she's sitting to my right and sitting to my, you all understand yeah. the sides. Um, <laughs> right, to my left and right. To my left and right. <laughs> 
What would y'all say to women who are now in 2024 saying, okay, I'm going to go find my husband on, Twitter, on Tinder or on ChristianMingle.com or on Black People Meet or Urban, what is name? Urban, um, it name Urban something. Urban People Meet or whatever it name. Uh, what do you have to say about, what do you have to say to the single women who are out there and they saying, the situation, little, little, um, it rough, it rough, it rough. Like what, 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 what you want? To, what you have to tell them? It, it rough for who? They saying it rough. I know who stay, but we can just put a day out there. Okay, well, I did a little bit of. I, I went to um, the number one psychiatrist, psychologist, therapist, Mr. Google. Right, and. Mr. Google said, according to Forbes.com, uh -huh. actually, nearly 70%, that's a lot, of individuals who met someone on a dating app said that it led to a romantic, exclusive relationship, while 28% said it did not. But this is individuals between the ages of 43 and 58. Oh. And so I think it's so much different with people of a certain age right. than it is with young people. Okay, so we're, we're, we're attaching it to an age bracket. Yeah. And I'm outside of that age bracket, though, Carol. Anyway, but this show ain't about me. Um, Lisa Fairweather Lang says, I didn't find my husband on Christian Mingle, but right. I found him on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Right. right. <laughs> Two-day hey, shipping. Hey, Same-day shipping. Now, Lisa, I really want to ask you... A question, right? But I can't ask you the question on air, though, Lisa. Because, Lisa, are we talking about an actual guy here? Yeah? Are we talking about his replacement? Anyway, child, I can shush my mouth this topic and just listen. I, I definitely think you can contribute um, by asking questions, Adisha. You don't have to just sit here and listen. Oh my word. She said that means it's not working for the younger folks. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's not working for the younger people. Yeah. So the older people are are, are doing um, online dating. But, uh, does it have something to do, right? And not saying that because you're younger, you don't know yourself, or you, you or about or perhaps because when you're younger, you actually go out more. Like you, you have a tendency <laughs> to oh lord, to sweat and the guardian it's just king and I love it. <laughs> Be Go ahead. <laughs> when Go ahead. you're younger, you have a tendency to be out with like more people. No, that's not that's not every. Okay, let's okay, let's not act brand new. Y'all remember Tide? Joe, oh, you yeah. might be you, you. You weren't too young for Tide. Yeah, I was on Tide. I was I was on Tide. I am your Tide. And I I was a little oh, guy, girl. I was a woman, but I was. This was like twenty years ago, twenty some years ago. Right. And my reason. Now, come on, people of God, I wasn't safe, right? My reason for being on tag was not to find love, okay? If I were to go on a dating app now, it would not be for the same <laughs> reason, okay? So maybe... If I didn't know tag was a dating thing. I didn't know either. Yes, it was, Kurt! I, I didn't thought it was know just that. like I vibe I, I on thought my it was, Exactly, I thought no it was boy. like... Tag tag was, was. I had my I had my my music on tag. You know, like how when you used to go onto your MySpace page and the music used to pop up. Even I Facebook, had my, I had my music on my tag. Even Facebook is a dating app now. Sorry, pardon me. Excuse me. What? Even fa Facebook dating? Y'all in here about that? No. I, let me let me go. Let me go. Tell there's there's a lot. Hold on, 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 hold on. <laughs> Facebook. Yes. Dating is it available outside of the U.S.? <laughs> <laughs> Facebook I, dating. I know. Add love. Okay, okay, yes. okay. It's a thing. Okay, let's see. Can I sign in? <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it in password? This, this is. <laughs> Because this is something, okay, Facebook dating. Do I have to pay for it? Is it free? <laughs> Y'all, Marisha, I have a whole thing going on in the studio. Hold on, Dad. This one ain't, um, this one don't have my up-to-date password. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because I really need to research this now. Because y'all giving me information I didn't know. My husband could be sitting on Facebook dating, but and I hear slunking. 
while, while, you, while you're doing that, right, I uh-huh. just wanted to bring um, El Patron Forbes, say, y'all have Joyne dying, but I want to go down to Daniel Gibson. Pull it up for me, Joyne, while she home. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Gibson said, the woman of God find me on Timu. Timu! <laughs> For y'all that don't know who does Pastor Joe's husband. That's right. Team That's why I laugh. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you read? Facebook dating is not available for those of us who find ourselves in the Bahamas, okay? Well, oh, but VPN, and that's what that is. Hold on. You can't Hold change on. the location. We, we don't have a call. <laughs> a call. Change Let's take this call. <laughs> You're tuned into Girl Talk of Glory 93.9 FM caller. Good afternoon. Hey. The service is okay. Thank you. I will. I will okay. speak to our producer and have them to correct that. Thank you so much for calling. Right. All right. I'll get our producers on it. I know that we've been having some issues and we've had to tweak some things, but um, let's get some more of these topics in here. I mean, comments in here while I make contact with. <laughs> and I said nothing. I they already coming for me. I already see it. <laughs> Lisa said she was on tag too. <clears throat> oh Lord, the woman of God find me on Team U. That's powerful. Powerful. Um, yes, persons date on Facebook. Adisha is screaming. Join a U C. That's what's supposed to be they. They joined the live today, right? <laughs> Nowadays, I don't know people scamming and catfishing. Mm-hmm. That's the thing right there to mm-hmm. Leo. That is it right there. It's the catfishing for me. It's the, it's the, I was, uh, I was watching a TikTok video the other day and somebody actually recorded their, um, their screenshot of Tinder and somebody was, somebody's profile picture was Pastor Sarah Jake Roberts' husband. (laughs) I was like, y'all ain't serious, right? (laughs) Like this ain't for real. Like this have to be a joke. And this person was like, his name is Ron, but <laughs> but he had passage, what the man name? What his name is? Tore. Tore. Tore Roberts. Yeah. Tore Roberts. Pastor Tore Roberts' face was on the profile until they got to the last picture, and then this it was like this guy who looked completely opposite from him. He was like dark skin with like nappy hair and like <laughs> big nose, and I was like, oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Because I say, you gotta be careful what I. I gotta be careful what I say. I walk in the room and see my husband watching. <laughs> <laughs> said, oh man! The block is hard. Hi, Mr. Fog. <laughs> but John say, ask Joe about high five. Why are you trying to call you out I like don't that? Why did it lose sweep? <laughs> lose sweep, please. Oh man! But um, finish what you were saying, Carol, because I um. No, I, I want us to delve into what is, because obviously, according to Forbes.com, there's a drastic difference in the success rate of um, online dating apps for people of ages 43 to 58, and then, I guess, people from, let's just say, 21 to my age. Well, I mean, I feel like there is a drastic difference because the intention is different. Although the dating app has that broad band, okay, okay, dating, some persons in the younger age of age bracket are on it for sex. Mm. They just want to meet up. Whereas mm. old, uh, this is just my opinion, mm-hmm. not factual, mm-hmm. but whereas the older persons, they've already experienced life. They want, they want someone to settle down with. They're yeah. looking for that long-term relationship. When in reality, people, po- I, just as, just as Marisha saw, what you said, a TikTok or, or mm-hmm. video on Facebook? TikTok, yeah. We've seen numerous TikToks with persons saying, okay, how they meet up with this person and they look totally different. I saw a video where a guy was talking about, like, you know, this young lady, you know, when she had on all her makeup and a weave and stuff, she did look like a biscuit. And then a by biscuit. the time as he pick her up, it was a brick. She was a crocker. <laughs> it wasn't a crocker, going straight to a brick. So, you know, I feel like uh, the, in- the intent yeah. plays a major role in the success rate. I remember listening to um, recently, because I know all of us who pay attention to the news, we've been listening to what the census um, has been talking about in reference to, like, 
churches and things like that. And I, I, I was able to hear the marital status one again today. And I was like, oh, boy. I think what Jaina is saying has a a direct correlation between the fact that when they talked about the census, of course we're talking about the Bahamas, but we know this is true worldwide because we 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 see the conversations happening all over social media all the time mm-hmm. that people are getting pe- less people are getting married. Marriage is not at the at the top of people's priorities like how it used to be. Um, it's not necessarily something that people um, attain for. Um, the way that they used to, number one. And then the marriages that do exist aren't lasting like they used to because divorce is on the rise. Separation is on the rise. Um, and then um, it actually um, indicated in the senses that less people were getting married and that people were actually getting married older, not as young as they've been getting married. And we know that. We know that that is the truth everywhere we go on this side of the world. Now, if we were to dig a little deeper and we would, you know, to go on the next side of the world, we would discover that some things have not changed. Like they still doing their arranged marriages. They still setting things up. You still got 14, 15 year old wives and brides and things like that. It's still happening over there. But on this side of the world, we don't arrive at this place where we got to make that paper. We got to chase that dream. We got to make this thing happen. We got to build this business. We got to do this and we got to do all of that. We got to get this property. We got to build this house and we got to do all of this before we even decide to even consider the possibility of maybe liking somebody. And we're living in a different We're living in a different environment and in a different society. Um, I found it here. Let me just read it. As it relates to the marital status, the census revealed that the married category decreased by 2.5%. All other marital statuses categories, including never married, widowed, and divorced experienced increases. There was also a notable increase in the legally separated group representing a significant increase of 75.6%. So where we were in terms of our view for marriage is just not in the same place. And I think that that's the the contributing factor to what Forbes is talking about. And I think it also ties greatly into what Joyne mentioned, like those who are younger, their priorities are not marriage. Their priority is a quick, fast little one, two hit. Let me get what I need to get. Deuces. Mm. Keith says, "Tag was it back then?" But I was. <laughs> I, I guess Keith got catfish. Yeah. On there, never again. I did the online dating. Okay. Wow. Adisha says, I feel like dating apps need a video call option, man. Because getting catfish is so scary. Indeed. Lisa said, you go pay. Y'all go, y'all go pay fourteen ninety five and go on the prime section. It worked for me. Praise God. Lisa, what you talking about? She talking about her husband. I just, I just do that. <laughs> I have Amazon Prime. You know what's been on Amazon Prime? <laughs> That's my say especially. I would know. You need to tell me is it is it like is it like them things where you have to enter enter www.amazon. dot slash something? You gotta <laughs> let me know. Cause I trying to figure out what the deal is. Um, for those of you who are listening on radio, especially that caller, let us know if the sound is improved. Our producer is in the room and he's trying to make the adjustments. Please send us a message or or you, if you'd like to call back, you could call back or send us a message again, 827-2543 or 817-2544. Let us know um, <laughs> how, how the radio is sounding now. What do y'all think is the reason for the increase in separations and divorces, Talia asked? What do y'all think it is? Y'all married, I single, I know why. So y'all tell me. I know why the people can't stay together. So we go on with that excuse. To this whole Absolutely. Show Absolutely. Why do people ain't staying together? Pray tell. <laughs> women of God. Women of God. I start. Let's go, Joe. Oh, I thought you was going to say something. That's why I really genuinely stopped. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I feel like a lot of persons are divorcing mm-hmm. simply because 
Mm-hmm. And I, okay, I can't say simply because. Because it ain't simply. Right. It, right. Um, <laughs> for a few reasons. One, they did it presumptuously. Mm. And they they ended up in a jam. What what the thing is saying? What the vow is saying? Not um, to be entered into. Unadvisably, mm-hmm. but discreetly, mm-hmm. reverently. Mm-hmm. And um, another thing I believe that I've noticed is that, you know, persons have a lot more options now. There yeah. is. And, and hear me hear me out when I say it. There's options? When I say, <laughs> when I say options, when you look, and something that you said earlier, and I can't quote it correct, right. but I remember what you said mm-hmm. about people not wanting to marry. Like it's, it's not to the top of the list yeah, anymore. Uh-huh. It's not to the top of the list because there is so much variety. Spice of life, boo. You understand? So when you enter into something prematurely, if your desires aren't cultivated, ah, you could just go get somebody else. You could easily go and pick mm. up anything and anyone else. So mm. I think this is another okay. reason I why. I see what you're too. saying. And then thirdly, and my last point, so I could pass it to Kara. So what so I did there, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> would be because a lot of persons are entering two marriages unequally yoked. Uh, and it causes a struggle. Okay. Okay, what'd you say, Carol? You see, you see how uh, I did yeah. that, Carol? <laughs> yeah. Lovely. <laughs> um, that's, that's one oh, side. Oh, that's good. Sorry, um, I was reading the comments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, f- I, I think another side of it is we just don't live in a world where people just take any and everything anymore. Like, yeah, <laughs> but we, we, what we do you just, mean? Okay, so marriage back then, if I were to listen to my great grandmother and yeah. my grandma was not, it was it was not about love. No, mm. it was Want about security. It was it was about purpose because there was an actual purpose for two families coming together. To and it it was uh, business. Yeah, it was it, things, it, it yeah. was so much more than mm-hmm. just you look good and I like you. A families, lot of, yeah, it was families coming people, together. Yeah. It was not. Yeah. But, but so, what would you say? Because even if we consider marriages back then, husbands would have sweethearts on other islands, mm-hmm. other places, have their other families, but we just staying together. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, because Kellen, mm-hmm. let's talk about. No, see, I'm, I'm, I'm asking that based on what you said. So you're uh-huh. saying that it lasted longer back then because they tolerated it. They tolerated it. So you're saying. Cause we, cause we came together because you's a Thompson and I's a Robert. I get that. Mm-hmm. So, so are you implying that we should tolerate? No, uh, no, no. That, that, that's why I'm saying. That's why I asked that question. I'm saying because the question was asked: Why do I think there? Why, why do we think? Yes. The divorce and separation rate mm-hmm. is so high. And I'm increased. saying it's mm-hmm. because today we're not no longer tolerating tol- yeah. as tolerable okay. as you know as uh Four mothers. Okay, work. and she's okay. also saying we're not coming together, but for for purpose for anymore purpose. either. Yeah. Um. Let's let's be real. When we talk about if you gone, if your whole reason for getting married is he cute, I love him. Mm. <laughs> take take a take a little, chill take pill. a little chill pill. Okay. With that, okay, because if we being real, um, uh, being with a spouse over time, they change. Over time, we change. We evolve. Right. We should evolve. And you have to be in a purpose union with somebody that's prepared to evolve with you or respect and love every version of you that you evolve into. Mm-hmm. Um, oftentimes, we have spouses that, and I've heard a lot of stories, spouses that become intimidated mm-hmm. because the, their other, I don't like to mm-hmm. say half, their other whole mm-hmm. is now at another level or you understand? And so that's that's one of the reasons why we, mm. and back then, being married to, like you said, for women was about security. It was. We could secure ourselves now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you got to come with a little bit more than yeah. your tree goat in your line. Right. Now. So. I understand. Yeah. Um, from an observational place, I, I've, a, I've seen that people are not really I guess you could say not really um lifting up marriage the way that it was it was considered this high thing I, I don't want to make it seem like it's an idol that's not what I'm saying but it was revered 
it was respected. It was respected. It was respected. And I, I don't think that we have that level of respect for um for marriage the way that we used to not that we lived in a way in our marriage relationships that made it revered you know because as you pointed it out join a um we was dealing with sweetheart and family here family there so on and so forth but there was something that was still sacred about the marriage while the infidelity was going on back in the day there was still something that was honorable about it um do you think that's because we don't reverence god anymore i think it has a major contributing um um factor to that i also think that we don't um we don't want to i'm sorry marisha but go go back a little bit you said something just now about even with all the infertility, there Even. was something. What? Let's. <laughs> I'm sorry. There yeah. was a reverence. A, there was a. Yeah, people. People believe like you know something. This is my only marriage, and I honor God, so I'm not going to. Yeah, people are persons yeah. who who have said that. I they, or they say You're not going to divorce. Yeah, yeah. The peop, some some people don't believe in it. But people today still don't believe in it. I know there are people who don't believe in it, and I know that God hates it. It's just that that um, not knocking anybody, mommy, Grammy, great grandma. Right. There's right. something about like three houses on an acre and three women and God. all the children playing together, and the woman hanging out the clothes on the line together. That I j- I don't know. In no matter what Sister time I would have lived in. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that that's my grace. I just, get, but you went on that sister wives, right? Oh my god, I, I you know I can't say it because um, there's there, a big part of it also is conditioning. Um, young women back then were conditioned to be wives, so that's they grew up saying we ain't conditioning to be wives no more. For the most part, generally speaking, we conditioning to raise bosses. My God, let's get some these comments in. <laughs> Because this is something. I don't know. I feel like a man on a dating app is shopping around and not looking for anything serious. Lisa says, it's me joking, y'all. That's the story I tell people when they ask me where I found my husband. Because you so, being selfish. You don't want Yeah, because you don't want to tell us. You don't, want, you don't want these women, wherever you find them, Everything good. Up. Everything good. Everything good. <laughs> Crystal says, I think a lot of people divorce because they didn't get the concept of marriage that that they desire and a lot of people don't know what they want out of life or out of a partner. Absolutely, mm-hmm. Crystal, I definitely agree with you. Hey, Shante, it's so good to see you. We celebrated you last week. Congratulations. We Congrats. We know that your daughter is showing hair. We're going to blink and she could be in your hands. I see them pretty in pink pictures. Oh, my gosh. We're so happy for you and Lister and we celebrate yeah. y'all again, man. The blessings of the Lord be upon your family. Don't forget, Grammy, them couldn't work either. Well, my Grammy never worked a day in her life. These women could not leave even if they wanted to. Mm. Lisa says, yeah. Mm. <laughs> good point, Cara and Janae. Very good point. Sean T says, some people just settle and having the fear of being alone. And later on in life, they realize that it's something they can't handle for the rest of their lives. Shanti says, she totally agrees with me. Oh, hey, Pastor Carol. <laughs> Carl, sorry. <laughs> she say, go ahead. Go, I can hear her shouting that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal says, you're right, Carl, but my grandfather left property for his wife and all 12 of his children. These men want to cheat like the men of yesteryear Man, without you driving my car. The resources. Jesus. So, could we talk about it? Leave that on the uh. screen a couple of us. Because <laughs> I get off at five. Why are you picking me up in my car? At and you cheating. Right. And you cheating. You oh, got a car. Man. And the gas come back on e, the gauge. Jesus. And you hear catfishing people on, on blackpeoplemeet.com <laughs> while I don't work. With the man picture. With um, <laughs> Torrey Roberts, Roberts picture. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> and you know you are because you put a married man as the a picture. A married man. You won't even do your research. You couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't get a, what is called a thing? A, a, a thing photo. I forget what stock. you call it. A stock photo. 
Look for a stock photo, man. You can take one of the most popular wow. <laughs> African American preachers right now in our generation and put him as your display picture. Sarah Good Husband. Sarah Good Husband. And now you can have Sarah Trippin taking her husband on Tinder. Oh. Amazon Prime is where he <laughs> found it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Chavette says, like Kara said, many females were conditioned. Growing up, my mom always told me that marriage is sacred and serious, but ensure that I can take care of myself. I think that I think that this conversation is so necessary for us to have. Um, I'm afraid, though, that we are in a time where, like, there's a group of people who will automatically turn this conversation off. Because they ain't looking for no husband. Because our topic for today is, is my swipe husband. right or not, nah, is my husband on Tinder? And there are a group of women out there. Let's be real, y'all. Let's tell the truth 100%. There's a group of women out there who's like, he could be on Tinder. He could be on whitepeoplemeet.com for all I care. I want him anyway. Because... Like Joy Nay said, and like Kara alluded to as well, some of us really just into building the vibe, the business, the the vibe. Building the dream, chasing after, I go on to say the win, but that ain't really nice. That's insulting, but I mean, that's kind of what you're doing. But nonetheless, we press on. Um, no one has been on Tinder because when he meets you, how are you going to know? How how, how you, you know, know he can stop shopping on Tinder? Of course, that's a strong statement. You say no one has been on Tinder? Because when he meet you, how you know he can stop shopping on Tinder? Mm. And you know Christians and Christian mingle. <laughs> first things first. <laughs> let's stop there. Let's, let's, let's do oh, with that. Oh, <laughs> the who foundation. Who, mm-hmm. who on Christian mingle? Car for the Christians. You ask them their favorite scripture, they can say one king. <laughs> one king, king one king, king eh? one king <laughs> <laughs> one corinthians <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god lisa says godly marriages aren't being showcased as much girl lisa can you t- can you pr- praise for me yeah, lisa you know that's the song i always sing i sorry i covering up um joining in half a with this comment godly marriages aren't being showcased as much the worldly standards of marriage has become increasingly popular and many look at the increasing numbers of divorce and have decided to not bother if we continue to highlight godly successful marriages and the work that is needed to be placed into marriage then maybe the divorce rate would decrease honestly without god at the center of the marriage most marriages fail amen that is the hold on now we're going somewhere else now yeah thank you lisa mm-hmm. that is the danger of the secular world infiltrating the church so much so so would you consider dating apps infiltration of the world into the church well the church is the people and the people make dating apps mm-hmm. <laughs> <Sorry. Be real>. <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously okay you ask a lot of saved young people who, not Sarah, the sister. Cora. Cora. Who Cora is, a lot of them ain't going to know. Let's just be real. You ask the same set who Chloe, Kim, and Courtney is. They know. You understand? Got and it. when we look at marriage from their side, I got it. Let's just be real. You understand? And so Hollywood, um, social media has honestly made marriage look like a joke. Like, Damn. yeah. Um, mm. There was a clip. There was a clip that like I saw could, from this show. Musical chairs with it. Yeah, the realize. love and hip hop show. So where? The what? I just realized the sign and fix up and prop in the camera and not bothering me. I sorry. Just ignore me. All right. No, there, there's a, there was a clip from the Love and Hip Hop show uh-huh. where one of the ladies actually said, you know, if you get married and, and he ain't making sense, just divorce him. You know what I mean? You could always divorce him and start over. So, oh, yeah. So this, this is literally. So we changing the, husbands like clothes now. Yeah. 
And it's easy. Mm. It's easy. Comments. This is this is powerful. Um, <laughs> Kara, I found that out when I was on Christian Mingo. <laughs> they wild. They wild. Oh, Lord Jesus. Italia says, boy, this hits home. Mine signed up on Caribbean dating. When he got caught, he tried to say, I was just looking. Looking for what? Your death? She talking about her husband now. Y'all pray for me, my temper. That have nothing to do with temper. Which is why <laughs> Crystal made that statement. Play. If you find him shopping, he probably won't stop shopping. Oh. Not. So for maybe dating apps might be an actual obsession for a lot of people. So is it like scrolling then? That's, that's what we're saying? Like like how people have become addicted yeah. to, to mm-hmm. scrolling on TikTok Maybe. and scrolling mm-hmm. on Instagram. Maybe. and They don't have no... They don't have no um, they no don't. stimulation. No. What this call? Fingerprint? Uh, they don't have no fingerprint on they dumb. They scrolling all day. Serious thing. Crystal says, I feel like people with good things going... A- ain't. Ain't broadcasting it. I agree. I agree. And I... I'm trying to make it continue to keep... Good. And I think, <laughs> I think that um, we have had so many conversations about this in the past, and I've expressed it so many times. Like I've said to the people around me who married, I know that you're trying to prepare me as a single person, and you're saying, "Oh, like be careful," and "Oh, cause this and that and that." But if you always talk about the bad, I ain't gonna want it. Mm. Like, tell me about the good. Sometimes I'm not saying broadcast it. For the nations, I'm saying when you talk to me and you're saying to me, you know, this is my experience with marriage and, and this is my advice to you, don't only tell me the bad. Like, show me how it's benefiting you. Like, show me how it's working for you, like how it's making your life better. Because as a single person, while I I am grateful that when we've had these conversations in the past, I don't have the same point of view of marriage that I had then now because i've started to see more positive marriages around me but there's still not enough there's still not enough married people speaking positively about marriage well i have two points on that i mean if this is something speaking in general if you desire why need to be convinced one two i don't think it's a matter of persons only and this is just in my case persons only talking about the bad, I feel that there is, from a marriage standpoint, there is very rarely you can find a safe space to talk about marriage. Very rarely. And that's just the reality. And I think it's a lot of pressure to put on healthy marriages to say, listen, come for it. We need to see. Just, I mean, one if one person say something good, if you want to try it, you go in and try it no matter what. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like there is no bunch of, in, in my mind, of course, this is my perspective, there is no bunch of <coughs> convincing why. And, and, I, and I feel like that's, I, I understand your point, but on the flip side too, for the take into consideration the kind of world that we live in, the kind of people that we are constantly around, and in most cases especially in church, that's not always healthy. You understand? I understand where you're coming from. And um, I, I, my, my main thing is, if, 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 this, if this is something I want, if, if I want this laptop right here, I don't care what Kara have to say for this. Kara could tell me this could break down 300 times. If this is something I want, I go in after that. I don't, I, I, I don't need too much convincing for why I should buy this laptop or not. And I think it applies to a certain group of people who, if they do want it, they'll go after it. I think the speaking on it on a more broad spectrum, I believe that Christian marriage should look more attractive than gay marriage. Mm. That Christian, ma- like, right now, the, the conversation surrounding gay marriage is the fact that, well, y'all Christian people ain't making it work no how. So let's show y'all what to do. 
Well, I hear your point, and we, we could say the same thing for, let's say, gospel music and secular music. People can say secular music is more appealing and gospel music is not more appealing, but I believe that Satan has a very crafty way of making something that is wrong look right. I, yeah. I agree. So be, I agree. even behind all of that, there is a demonic strategy. Absolutely. So of course it's going to look better. Of course it's going to look, oh, gay marriage, man and man, woman and woman. Of course Absolutely. it's going to look good. Absolutely. You understand? So yeah. for those who know, no. And for those who don't, we have to pray they know someday. Atalia says, also marriages don't work because of enabling in-laws who encourage their family in cheating. Hey. Wow. Mm. Why are you? Uh, not, listen to me. You on it wow. today. You on it today. Wow. Uh, Sin says, a lot of persons want the wedding, not the marriage. Okay. Nice dress. My God. Um, Chevette says, especially with all of the reality shows now to find love. Mm. We used to watch those and laugh, but yeah. these days, not so much. Now, I've heard about them. I am not a reality show person. I don't like it. I don't like it. This started from, let me tell you where this started from, especially for the black community. You, I know you don't like it, but you remember from back then, um, it was probably one of the most entertaining shows on television called The Flavor of Love. <laughs> <laughs> With Flavor Flav. Oh, so you okay. know you have 30 minutes? <laughs> you no. Know? Yeah, and then so much branched <laughs> off from there. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> the, now, hold on. And now they have, and y'all don't act like y'all don't watch Love is Blind. I don't. You got I've people, people watching it, yeah. who get married after talking through the walls of a pod for, what, a couple days? And they get married. What's the sit because there was one couple from that who's still married to this day. How long? How long that is? Uh it's been what, three years? Three or four I years? Know. I know there's yeah. a few seasons of it because it's on watched. it's on Netflix, but I've never yeah. watched it. But it's it's like a mockery was made of relationships. Mm. Um and now it it's it grew into a mockery being made of Natural relationships into a mockery made of marriage. So over time, there's been this like, mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder what they can come up with next. I don't. I have no clue. <laughs> um, Doctor Christine Evans says, as it relates to showcasing good marriage, most won't for the mere fact that Christian or not, many hate rather than celebrate. That's a very strong statement. Oh wow. Um, Lisa says, yes, Mar Marisha, marriage is beautiful. Crystal says, marriage is very complex and it should be guarded and protected, especially if it's a good companionship. Um, Chavette says, Marisha, I think it's the reverse on social media. Many persons are posting their highlight mm. reels, but aren't telling you the, tr the honest truth. Mm. But I said the same to my sister. If you're telling me the honest truth, I don't know if I can honestly deal Ugly. Atalia that's, a great, that's a great point. <laughs> Atalia says, marriage is a wonderful thing. With the right person, it's beautiful. With the wrong person, it's prison. Mm. Dr. Evans says, then there is the dark Christian web where people literally plot person's downfall because of jealousy or seeing you as bragging. Then there are those that will target your good wife. Or husband as their own. Ashley Stubb says churches should really be look into having a consistent year long couples marriage ministry for their members and not just couples ministry event on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I believe this ministry is as vital as men's, women's, youth, and all other ministries. Ashley, I definitely agree with you. There are some churches that do. Um, yeah. 100%. That's so good. Yeah. Lisa says, love is blind now. Out. Love is bind now. Blind. Out. You meant blind. Blind now. Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Sin says, broadcasting your marriage can be perceived as bragging by some. It's almost like you have to protect what you have from negativity and negative comments. I agree. And Crystal says, right, I must highlight my marriage for <laughs> yeah, for Jezebel to watch some too. And when you stop highlighting, like something wrong. Oh, something, something wrong. Something, something wrong. Something wrong. Something wrong. Something wrong. Something wrong. Something wrong. Yeah. Oh. 
something wrong. No, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And I think that this is such a great conversation because we cannot pretend like the view of marriage is not contributing to whether or not people decide to go online to date. Like, and what the end goal is. Whether people are looking for fun, or looking for a good time, and not a long time. Right? <laughs> um, but I want to I wanna switch switch directions really quickly and i want us to really really address this like do we really think that we are now in an age and time where this concept of finding the one is acceptable on tinder on bumble on what the next one name i forget and i had the list of them you know let me do a little quick search. There are at least 50 million dating apps. Dat- Listen, there are dating apps for teens. Y'all stay there. Y'all think this is a game. That's why. I- Y'all think this is a game. What? There's Match. There's Hinge. There's Bumble. There's Tinder. There's Plenty of Fish. And then Coffee, something, something. Dating app. There's Down, the casual dating app. There's meet me. What does what does casual dating mean? You know what that means. Okay. If you see the sign for down, you would not go there as a Christian. It's the little devil is. See the little devil is. Jesus. Uh, uh, meet me, chat, and go live. Um, black singles dating app, hook up, and NSA dating app, hilly, dating app, tagged dating app, Told ba- Badu, dating app. Okay, Cupid. I could just go on. I could just go. Wait, 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 wait. Dating meet curvy. Woo plus. Cougar <laughs> dating app. <laughs> I could just go on. Stir single parent dating. What, whatever your flavor. That's the problem right now. E the good old e harmony. E harmony. <laughs> now hold on now. This next one say pure. Anonymous dating app. But look how the thing look. It looked like the third eye Jesus. from um What? And then hold on, wait, here's a new one. Holy Christian dating app. Holy, holy Christian Christian dating app. <laughs> Grinder. Gay dating and chat. Coffee meets bagel. <laughs> dating app. Boo! <laughs> Dating friends. China, you can't. What you mean? Coffee. <laughs> Bagel. <laughs> wow. Luxy selective dating app. Uh, my tea warrior. BBW dating and hookup app. I'm afraid of what you're going to say next. I mean, Wink. Meet new people app. Date my age. Mature dating app. Scout, meet new people. Upward, Christian dating <laughs> app. Happen, dating chat and meet. Wild, hook up, meet up, dating. The League, intelligent dating. We could just go on and on. There's black people meet. They get dating up for nerds too? There's, listen to me, there's kinky dating app. There's hook up, dating flirt chat. There's mutual LDS dating. What is LDS? Mm. I sent some of y'all trying to hurry up um, right down. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. LDS is Latter Day Saints. <laughs> <laughs> Mutual. <laughs> what? If you was going to the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter Day Saints. You have a place. You all have a single app too. <laughs> local. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Local hook up dating app. <laughs> Here's another one. Black Gentry. Oh, Meet ambitious black singles. Okay. <sighs> You're my type. <coughs> dating. Wait, wait, wait. I like this one. Bumpy. International dating. 
Oh, uh, I yawn and I still scroll in. Wait, these next two day funny. Our time meet fifty plus singles. Tan tan, Asian dating app. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Farmers dating only. I ain't making this up. You all see the people in, in the in the plot. I'm not making this up. Um, Thai Mai, I think that's how you pronounce that. LG, <laughs> LGBTQ plus dating and chat. <laughs> King Koo. Kinky fetish dating app. Moco. You listen to me, y'all. I done read at least 25 by now. Mamba. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on, y'all. There's a swingers lifestyle dating app. Oh, Lord, my Silver mascara. singles, mature dating, interracial match. It's called mixed. <sighs> <sighs> oh wait, wait, wait! Hold on. Not just a lot of day saints, y'all. I can't. I wasn't ready for. Everybody, go check us up <laughs> <laughs> at this point. <laughs> at this point, the Catholics, Catholic match dating up. <laughs> <laughs> Carry that can't breathe. I can't, I Just can't. fold it all the way. Fold it all. The, no, like I, fold it in the thing. Fold it again. Jesus. No, fold it again. Fold it like an, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Catholic match dating app number one dating app for Catholics. Hold on, the number rating one. is four point five k though. Okay. Well, you stay right there. You Catholics need <laughs> love too, Crystal. Hey, y'all are <laughs> serious, you know? I can't. I can't. Oh my <sighs> gosh! Listen to me. Listen Mom, to stop. me. Chat Are you know me? And date online dating app. Hoop. I can't. Waplog. Dating dot com. F three dating. <laughs> Military what? dating app. There's a there's a cougar hookup. I, I need to get them. Sweet dating for adult hookup. The love matchmaker. I could just go on. <coughs> Y'all, it ain't stop yet. You know how I thought I was going to oh come to the end of a list? <sighs> now we, we, we getting into Latino dating. Mi gente. <laughs> There's another Christian one. It's called Eden. Eden? It's called Eden. Eden Christian dating app. Here's, here's, here's the tagline. Matches for dating for marriage. Are we in the Stone Ages, y'all? And I really want us to ask this question, answer this question. Like, are we in the Stone Ages? Oh, God. <clears throat> That's a lot of data. A lot of these other ones, I can't, I can't call their names on Christian radio um, because they're a little out there. And I didn't even know you could have apps with words in it like these words. I thought there was like a, you know, like a, like a moral morality clause or oh, ethics something. Morality <laughs> point. <laughs> like nothing, nothing is is nothing sacred. is sacred nothing anymore. Else. Right. Uh, there's another one, another Christian app. It's called Salt. I lion. See it right there. They have to stop. It's right there. It's called like salt. salt of the earth. Salt. S L A T. Salt. S L S A L T. Salt. <clears throat> there's a lot of cougar apps. A lot of them. Um. Single divorced and dating. Single parent dating chat. Um, <sighs> so, yeah. So, this thing is out there in droves. Um, you want to date an Asian. You want to date an African. You want to date a Caucasian. You want to date a Mexican. You want to date somebody from Czechoslovakia. They on here. Including the Latter Day Saints. <laughs> Wait a minute, LDS. Filipino Cupid. Sorry, I forgot the Filipinos. So there is something out here for everyone. Are we? Let's answer this question. Are we limiting God? Are we limiting God by saying no? You can't find your husband on a date now. <clears throat> I can read the comments while y'all figure out y'all answers to that question. Say, I, I, Ask the question again. Are we limiting God? I'm sorry. I see in the bikes through my corner. The bikes? Who they is? 
Die in MA. That's the mom and they. <laughs> the black ones in the white school chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Lord I, God. I okay, what's the question again? Let me, let, me, let me read these comments first and then we go back to the question. Um, God. Um, I had someone post say, I wish someone would love me the way Tingham love K. I don't know if to say all or weird. Screens, screens file. Yeah. Raven says now these app, these apps just heading towards <laughs> visits. <laughs> this goes back to what Joyne said in the beginning. There are a lot of options. <laughs> Lisa say I hear hollering. At the end of the day, most men ap- approach women for one thing, and it ain't marriage. But by avoiding dating apps, you 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 avoid. Most of these type of men and experience. That's a strong statement to make, Crystal. Yeah, but. Latter day Saints dating app noted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but thanks. Shavette says this is honestly a time to be alive. Crystal say Catholics need yeah. love too. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Latinos in the hey, mom. Mom says no one beats those dating apps more than Africans. Kara, I watch Kendra G. That's how I know. I don't know. Yeah, with me, it's true. It's violent sometimes. I just, I be careful. I back. Hold on. What the Christian app's name again? I have I have a I have a question slash comment. Something that Miss um, Forbes said mm-hmm. um, about the, what, this one here. Yeah, at the end of the day, most men approach women for one thing, and it ain't marriage, right? Okay, so I I'm hard pressed to believe that every man on these dating apps just looking for one thing, right? What if it's a situation where just like women, um, just like women, like that would be their last resort after meeting people organically and it just ain't, it just ain't happening. And, you know, someone saying, girl, try this mm-hmm, app or mm-hmm, something like that. Mm-hmm. There might be men who just tired of the same old, you can take care of my children, you can pay my bills, you can da 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 I mean, you know, so maybe, just maybe for some people, because I am sure there are droves of people out there who have actually found a, a spouse right. from it. So I think that's why going back to the age 43 to 58 thing, it's really what your purpose for going on this app. So are, yes. we, are we shutting it down? Like, are we canceling out the possibility... <laughs> Hey, Chief, the possibility that they, that somebody can find their husband on a dating app or because this is the part that we haven't talked about here that I want to slide in here. Most dating apps leave the decision making in the hands of the woman, doesn't it? Do you know any that put the decision making in the hands of the man? Y'all don't know. I wouldn't know. How about it go? So what happens is both okay. men and women have profiles, right? Mm-hmm. But. A man can't talk to a woman until I believe she like either l- like accepts the invite for the conversation that he initiates mm. or she likes his photo. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. So the swipe right thing comes from Tinder. Mm. Tinder, when, you, when you're on Tinder, you see the person, you don't like them, you swipe left. Okay. 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 But then if you like the person and you swipe right, then they have to l- like you too. And then the conversation. Oh, so there has to be an initial be, match. There has to be an initial match. Okay. Now, what dating apps also do is they give you this column where there's like a suggestion. So they say, based upon the information that you have entered, we have some matches for you. And they will lay out these matches or whatever, according to your location, according to your likes, according to your signs. Cause you know, we watch the moon and the stars in the world. Mm-hmm. And, um, according to your hobbies, according to your height, according to your body type, all of these things. If a man say you're looking for a BBW or if you're looking for a model, they will uh, they will put these people in your suggestions according to what you have laid out as your desire and what they have laid out as their desire. But from my understanding um, and the research that I've done and then my experience, the woman has to allow. A man can't just 
come in and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. The app has to suggest this person and you have to say, okay. And then conversation begins. So I believe that we need, no, we need to talk about that because then the concept of dating is removing the idea of he that finds a wife finds a good thing. It's more like she who finds a husband. Accepts. <laughs> You know, and then we need to talk about like, okay, so what is your belief? Do you believe that that he that findeth a wife is 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 literal? Do you think that it has to be the man that's like, oh yes, my favor has arrived, um, or do you believe that hmm, this woman could be like, you know, you need me? But dying the word I'm going to say, but y'all get it. I just asked plenty questions just now. I try not to be um, a hypocrite because it's easy to like say this online dating app thing is like taboo and. But and it's it's people's be, reality though. Yeah, it is people's reality because I'm thinking now, um, like even church services aren't as organic anymore. No, you know, there's, there's a lot of churches in the U.S. that literally shut their doors and they only do online church now. You understand? So maybe that's just the way the world is I think we need, we need to consider the fact that, like, probably before the pandemic, this thing would have still been a little bit taboo. But the majority of our experiences are no longer in face-to-face and in person. We, <laughs> we do more of life online than we do face-to-face. Listen, I I think, yeah, we need to hurry up have this conversation because I saw something where like, the robots, they buying, they selling the robots now, and um, an article saying that women will be dating robots within the next 10 years. So, <laughs> Is it bad that I, I want a robot? Yes, it is. Him, I saw him cleaning the house, though. <laughs> I don't trust him. He was cleaning I don't the trust house. him. And the mm-hmm. woman did forget a bag inside, and he bring the bag outside, and he run. And I was like, that's me. I'm that woman. I would be in my car, car on, to the end of the driveway. Marisha was your handbag in the house. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I wear it. I wear it. I ain't going to want no robot. I watch too much movies for that. Chevette say, my last resort is to be a nun. Chevette, are we really doing this today? And there's a dating site for a <laughs> lot of day sinks. The they got the gap. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what in the world? Jesus. Vera says, can cancel it when people get married. It rough, but exactly. I just feel like we can. We can. Um, we can't. Like, Joyne would say this. We can't. I'm um, thinking. Um, Right. Okay. <laughs> well, before you read more comments, my my point is this: to each its own, right? Mm-hmm. I have never had experience with dating app. If I was single today, I would not use a dating app. That's just my personality. Mm-hmm. That's my mm-hmm. preference. Mm-hmm. Like both of you mentioned, we are in a age time mm-hmm. where everything is digital. Nothing is, and even. It, okay, you mentioned, Kara, you know, church being online. And it takes away, whether we like to admit it or not, it takes away from that real encounter, that real experience. If we are honest, we have our children that we're trying to get away from devices, yeah. mm-hmm. get away off the right, internet right. because they don't know how to hold a conversation. They don't know about basic human interaction. Right. About they don't last know. Week. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. And and they don't know these basic things. And for me, when growing up, you know, you go to the dance, you see one guy, he look at you. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I, I sorry. <laughs> right? I had a flashback. He, he look he look at you, you look at him. How are you going to the zoo? <laughs> no, I never did the zoo. Right? Top tail. You can't see this woman going to top tail. But anyway, right? She looks like she looks the wrong with it, right? And I um, call it no club name. I don't know what don't club even know, top tail from low tail. But it's okay. <laughs> from the near, you should know. <laughs> the zoo. They had an upstairs. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> right? We straight on. Right? And <laughs> for for me, I, 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 I simply wouldn't. I feel mm. that. And again, 
I say this is me, it just it gives a, a hint of desperation. It gives a hint of just based on my personality, mm-hmm. like what am, what am I doing swiping? Swiping for what, for who? What am I accepting? If you see me in person, and I'm saying like if I was single right right now in this very moment, come talk to me. Show me you can have a real conversation with me in person. Charm me. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not going to be easily charmed. Be by, happy you married, boo. By text. Be happy you married. And and that's fine. And I. I still feel it there, even if I wasn't married. I'm sure that there are people who would see me, and would want to talk to me, mm-hmm. and not use an app. Maybe because that's my preference. In I'm not. Word, in the words of Destiny's Child, where they at? Where they at? Maybe and and then too okay. Where may, they at? Maybe could it be that we're only going to the same place? We're only seeing the same people. If you only go to church and work, how you expect to meet a man? You can't find him in your house. He's not going to show up to your door and say, "Marry mm. me." And it, it, no? how much woman to man in church gonna, already? He probably ain't in, in your church, ladies. Right. Oh, so Lord you know, it goes Jesus. back to where where you're going. We're saying where they're at. And if you if, if your schedule is work, church, home, what man you can meet? In the on gas the, station, man. Super the, value, girl. Okay, but you got to go these places. And when you go there, chances are you looking like a bum. No. Yeah. Can't do that. Yeah. You understand? You're so, in super value, like, oh, with so you're cooking lasagna tonight. Or, 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and it, but, but believe it or not, simple interactions like that can speak to someone's Ooh. personality. How many mm-hmm. times have you been in a gas station? As simple as the other night, I was in a food establishment, and, you know, Nassau is usually some ruckus. There was mm-hmm. some ruckus, mm-hmm. and I met these two guys in there, and they was just having a grand old time, like, cracking jokes, saying, like, you know, <laughs> I hope these people will try and come back and get us kind of thing. And I was, I was laughing. I was standing up laughing with them. And it was simple, clean interaction. Yeah. If I were a single woman, they might say, Mom, X, Y, Z, but they obviously they have a ring, whatever, but you know, mm. my perspective, I mm. started off by saying to each its own, I am, I am not, that's, that's not me. That's not my personality. I can read some more comments because I know um, there are some people who side messaging me and they asking me, so you want to date not for y'all want being people <sighs> business. And I mean, and Sin Smith, this is so true, but you can't. Focus on the negative. Take in the positive and share God's blessing. It's environment to those with pure heart. <coughs> um, Crystal says, most men are not searching for marriage online or offline. But for sure, most husband material men for majority Christian female type are not on dating apps. That's like mm-hmm. saying going to the club is a good place to meet your husband. Most men go there looking for access. Same way most men log on to these apps looking to run through different women. Just my opinion. Well, you'd be surprised on who on these apps. Uh, Vera says, the apps I've tried, it's both ways. Both have to match to initiate conversation. As in, it's mutuality that starts the convo, not necessarily the woman. But that's only two apps. Mm. I think the woman accepting is the same as in real life. The man approached made the first move, and the woman allows it or not. Lisa says, when I was single, I went to this church, and they literally were saying that apps are a possibility because we can't box God in. And we don't know how God moves when it comes to being open to love. In the exact same church, we did speed dating. That's cool. What are y'all thoughts? I've done speed dating before. Yeah? Okay. How, okay. And how did that work out? Um, <laughs> join A, no, 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 join A, you, jo- it, <laughs> it, <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was, it was a good experience. It was a good experience. Um, ah, did I end up with a husband? Obviously not. Did I end up with a relationship? No. Did I have subsequent dates? Yes. Did it did it help you uncover or learn something new about you? It helped me to know what to say and what not to say when meeting somebody new. Mm. Like be a date to know that? Yeah. 
I beg to differ. Yeah. You have the speed date to know what to say. Well, I didn't say I had the speed date to know, but that's how I found out. Like, that's how I, that's how I was able to. It's the to, best show ever. <laughs> yes. That's I mean, how like I was able to be like, okay, say this, don't say that. Like, okay. introduce yourself or present yourself this way, but don't include that. Mm. Not quite yet. Let that wait. Um, yeah, I learned, I learned um, what to say and what not to say. Because, I mean, okay, both of you are married, so you don't have this. You don't have it. You don't have this reality that I have. Um, yes, we can't just go to work. We can't just go to church and go home and expect to find a man. However, mm-hmm. even the places that I do go that are not work, that are not church, there's still a... <sighs> How can I say this? Because I'm in a different place with what I allowed to come out of my mouth. When you look at the situation carnally, there is scarcity. I'm choosing my words very wisely. When you look at the situation carnally from a faithless perspective, it is either married or gay. Or situationship. That's basically what you're encountering out there. Like how you could find a female who is like actually single. Like she ain't talking to nobody. She ain't like, you know, have no friend or she ain't dating this one. And she ain't have the money guy, the food guy, the gas guy, the tire guy. Like you could actually find women out there who are like not connected in a relationship with anyone, you can't really say the same thing about the so-called single men that are out there. They have a, a person in their pocket. Yeah, I mean, that. I think that comes with perspective because to a lot of people, if we haven't had a conversation solidifying this as an exclusive relationship, it don't matter who I'm talking to, what we do, right. you done your business, I'm right. single. Right. So that particular... Because you're not married, automatically that means that you you're s- single. Yeah. Fair game. Yeah. Fair game. Are, are they yeah. not, though? I with you, Joe, never, use, never used it and wouldn't use it. I like real life experiences. He needs to walk up and speak up like a gentleman. Yeah. But to each its own. <laughs> I've been there. I thought that was the ghetto one. It was, <laughs> <laughs> but that was the last stop. Ah. He used to go to the property one's face. Okay, and uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I you learning me because yeah. I. <laughs> only time I ever been to the nightclub was in the day. Exactly. Communication has been replaced by the devices, even going out with friends. Everyone in their phones. I miss the days of just looking at each other and talking. Let's have a real conversation. Let, let me feel your energy. My stepdad literally met my mom at my Grammy's house. And I pray in God, do it for me. Because I really tired. That's all I love fasting and praying Grammy used to do. <laughs> the pl- Late night travail. Yes, sir. <laughs> the plumber, when he come to your house. <laughs> Ooh. Lisa, y'all wouldn't believe. That's that's who you could meet. I dated a plumber <laughs> before. No, hold on. She, <laughs> I was, y'all stop playing. I was at my mom's house, right? I really was. No, I was at my mom's place, and I was knocked right out. I was off that day, and there's this knock on the door. She didn't tell me that. Perfect love story. It's yeah. Sound, sound good. It, it was a real good. Hallmark movie. Jesus. Yeah. Oh. And she didn't tell me that the landlord was sending the plumber there. And when he knocked on the door, and when I opened the door, I think I had baby in my eye and all. The and baby and, and in your he, eye. he had to, at that time, been the most handsome person I have ever seen in my life. Huh? Go ahead. I just, just yeah. <laughs> and we started, we started talking. And it, you know what I mean? I mean, for all intents and purposes, he was. Um, he was a dog, but what I'm saying is, it can happen where 
Marisha, no, but I think what he was dealing with was, I guess, based on age at the time. You know, because now he is very happily married and, and was not, right? But I'm saying, things like that can happen where at any time, like at any time you can meet. Uh-huh, she, she did. Yeah, no, he hadn't grown up yet when it come, came to, you know what I mean, dating. And he has the type of person that I always was. I wasn't into that, you seeing me and Kathy and Martha and Mary and Magdalene and all of them, right? It, that's not a way of life. All right. See, but I was little. If I like you, this back then. Nah. If I like you, we go in. Like you's my boyfriend. I mean, I think that's how it was back then. Only this new age now puts a label on. Well, if I didn't say, or mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm dating. I may go on a date today. I may go on a date tomorrow, and mm-hmm. nothing is secure. So I I don't I don't think that was that way back then. Like what you saying was normal back then. Rel- yeah, relationships started back then with. The hey. guy walking up and saying, what you saying? What you seek, saying? Seek, oi. Uh, uh, hey. that, that little smile like you don't even have to, you know? He was my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I said, girlfriend. What but you yeah. like, whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> whatever movie it is that you like. <laughs> the plumber, when he comes to your house, that's who you can meet. However, don't box God in because my sister husband literally came to her at her house. True. She didn't go looking. He came to her. Mm-hmm. Um, now nah, my sister has been in a plumber. Let me just put that <laughs> out there. <laughs> uh, Vera says, I'm not an advocate for dating apps, but I've used them and better understand the nuances of it. I think one myth we need to debunk is that the apps are a poor replacement or substitute for face-to-face communication. Mm-hmm. I think they just provide another place for people to meet. They are not much less organic than the lady who dresses up and goes out to be found <coughs> um crystal says lol marisa so you you right sounds like you have to find someone and hope he makes you the favorite vice versa it's so true mm-hmm. you right Italia. too much texting and video calls going on that's why they only want to take you for coffee dates if i had a date today i wouldn't do all that phone stop stuff you gotta take me out to talk yeah now crystal i ain't gonna lie these dudes just want video call after they done meet you you mean? Like text you and like then? you let's say I we had a party. Okay. We meet at a party, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We exchange numbers or whatever. Okay. You want video call me on the way home from the party? No baby. No no. I don't understand. No. Why? What what are we doing here? I Does mean, he love you long time? No no no. But no, I mean no 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 Oh no. help you though. No 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 no. He miss you. I don't understand. Like, help me. Like, make it plain. <laughs> Tell me again. You want a video? You are you want video call me and you just meet me? But you are just meeting person. Yeah, but don't video call me. That's different. That's, that's, that's. Is it? Yeah. That's sacred. Really? No, I mean. That's why I keep saying I don't understand. Yeah, you just video just... call everybody? No, I don't video call everybody. If I, okay, if I were to, right, um, meet someone okay mm-hmm. as a single woman and we hit it off for me and y'all could correct me if i'm wrong if when i leave his presence i don't get that weird creep feeling and of course if he asks me if we can continue mm-hmm. talking on my drive home or something like that mm-hmm. i don't see a problem with that i get what you're saying don't call me a messenger though but then <laughs> i feel i feel a few ways about this because like you say, that initial like creep feeling, okay, no problem. But um, if we're comparing back then to now, back then people never used to video call, right? Video call just it's became so, yeah. more popular yeah. as of late, right? Yeah. But then, what if the person said they want to just call call you on your way home? Would that be different for you then, Marisha, or just yeah. if the video was an issue? Yeah, so you could call me on the way home, but okay, so don't what, video call me yet. What What are your issues with the video? Because I still don't get it. Because the, to me, okay, I, I gave you a scenario. Or you feel like video is personal. It's so special, people. It's where it could go. You could hang up. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, just like how you could hang up a normal phone. Yeah. I agree. And then, too, haven't you already deserved the person for to get their number? I 
agree. That's and why then, I said we hit it off. And then, yeah. and then, could when you decide to wait, let's say three months for this video call to happen, the same thing would could happen on the first thing that can't happen in the three months. I agree. I just say it. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I disagree. I agree with everything that you've said. But I just. It's just I, preference. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll say yeah. that. I, I just okay. feel like, no, you wait. You wait till I. Let me video call you first. What if you ain't ready to video call when you ready? Huh? And you're mad. How dare you not video call me? Oh, you know that. Right, so why are you regular calling me, bitty? That, that's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite move right there, woman of God. I'm sorry. I have to tell you that. I just telling you how I am. Would you feel? Let me. I let me ask you this, Marisha. Uh huh. Um, is it giving brokey vibes if a man always calls you on WhatsApp? Never regular call because I've heard that before. You may have data. I don't think I'm the person to ask this question. I, I have literally because heard that, like, don't call me on WhatsApp. It's giving broke vibes. You have an Android, so I talk to you on WhatsApp. Anybody who is my friend, mm. who knows me, they know I'm a FaceTime girl, right? I don't do regular calls. What do I mean? I don't do regular calls, period. I don't, I don't do, I don't, I do WhatsApp calls for my Android people. I have data calls. If it's a data call and I want clarity, I choose FaceTime. I choose audio or video well, that's, that's why i say i don't know if i'm that. the person to ask that question mm. what, what do you think do you think it gives broke back i don't think it does. well i'm broken i just call everyone on whatsapp but I, it, I was like it was an man. interesting it was an interesting perspective think, yeah. yeah i think that perspective tells us a lot about the person who said it Ooh. <coughs> I think that you can't hear on WhatsApp, <laughs> and you can't see. Now, I it, the there might be a problem. Reconnected. I can see the problem being if you initially call me on WhatsApp, right? And the call in making sense. You know, to be doing all that yeah, funny thing. Sense, man. And mm. you, would you feel, would you feel differently about a man who never have minutes though? Yeah, I, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel I, no. Yes. And I would add further, I feel I feel some Try type me. of way about an adult who doesn't have minutes in twenty twenty four. I feel like an adult without minutes in twenty twenty four is irresponsible. An adult. Not just a man. An adult. I don't agree. Why are you walking around without minutes? I don't agree. You know how much minutes and then costs? Oh Lord Jesus. Oh, okay. Adisha, you here with Carol. You know, you know the cost of living? Priority? Minutes? That's a joke. What you can do what, when your what, car, what good is it to have a bunch of minutes on your phone down. and no food in your cupboard? When your car breaks down, no who, gas in who your you car. Who you saying please call me text to? Can we even still do that? What, Johnny? Who what, you can saying please call me text to? And yet dating days, right? If a man always sent you, please call me text. No, sir. Don't, no. <laughs> don't do it. In my dating days, there was no please call me. <laughs> there was no please call me? I don't recall. Why, why are you sending me a oh, please? Uh, please I don't. But then, too, back and see if we go in back, it wasn't much about phones. No, oh, yeah, yeah, but we here now. We here now. You can need minutes. Things is happening. People are teeth for counting. No, you can need minutes. You can, you can need minutes. You, ladies, how y'all would feel about a man who you, always selling, please call me then? No, you can't, please call me. You, I am not the one. Somebody else have to call you. Miss me with that. <laughs> Absolutely not. You wouldn't be video calling me. You have to have boundaries and, and be comfortable knowing that will decrease your options. I don't have no problem <laughs> being right to then. myself. Because, Joe, too much phone is create a false sense of closeness and familiarity. Sir, that's the point. Like real dates. Not know what you do today. How was your day? Would you look today? Try go. I would do, yeah, Crystal. I, I would do. Um, Chevette says, I'm a, reg I'm, a, I'm a regular call person, but if you call me on WhatsApp, I wouldn't think so. I agree, Marisha. You need minutes. Things happen. You can need minutes. <laughs> Megan say, LOL, say food over minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Chevette say, you can't. Please call me. Lisa say, it's giving broke. Should you, should you be dating if you have to choose between food and minutes? No, not, a, not according to the Bible. Adisha says, agree, things I happen. Can't. You need to have either data or minutes. Sometimes I don't even get them. Please go. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> oh, 
man. Um, um, I just okay. Let's let's y'all is five thirty six. Let's go. Um, I I too like like um. Let me get this last comment in here. Ma. My car broke down <laughs> on the side of the road, <laughs> and he can't even load the location to know where I am. No Ooh. data. Wait, listen. I have a I have a pet peeve with that baby. We can't be risking our life out here, and you can't use your phone. But I but I feel like that's a lot to dismiss someone because they don't have minutes. No, I, I'm talking about this is something that like he never like he never have minutes. What, what if he's not a phone person? You don't have to be a phone person to have minutes on your phone. Okay. <sighs> I've I been mean, on I've been on three dating apps in the past. Um. And my experience uh-huh. with them, my experience with them. I think she should try them, the, the latter day <laughs> <laughs> She needs to try. I'm Filipino. She's right there, girl. <laughs> Asian data <dating> Asian. <laughs> Sorry. Tan Pan. <laughs> that's what he messed with his name, Tan Pan. <laughs> um, I tried three dating apps. And I, okay, I actually met. How many? One, two, three. Three. Three? One, two, three. I actually met three guys on dating apps that to this day I still have friendships with. Like, um, that I know. Like, I know them and and we cool. We After we went on, like, the first three dates, we realized, okay, no. You know, even though they said we were compatible, we ain't compatible, so we could just be cool. But for some strange reason, for whatever reason, we just kept in touch, like... Where there was just like, because we had each other's number on WhatsApp and whenever he posts a status or I post a status, you know, you comment on the joke or whatever, on the meme or whatever, whatever. But I have contact with them now and and they are genuinely nice guys. One of them is still single. The other two are married now. I just wasn't, we just, we weren't compatible. When we actually started to get to know one, one another, it just wasn't, it just wasn't, it just wasn't working out. So I have met... I have met decent guys on dating apps. I have. Um, just. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Stay focused, woman. Crystal, come on, man. <laughs> Honestly, because you're um, not friends anymore. Don't talk to me. You don't exist. <laughs> you don't exist. Why do you feel like you can talk to me now? I mean, it wasn't no animosity. It, no, just, it didn't no, work. There is, there is no animosity, no violence. We just pretend we never met ever in life. But why? I don't have to pretend like we never met. We did meet. We I did don't want to pretend. Okay, when, when you meet him and you get married, all these friendships that were forged with people that you spoke to on that level before, what happens then? Ball, you know. Well, okay, when I say friendships, I don't mean like friends, like friends. I Y'all know, you have people in your phone who the only conversations y'all has have is responses to each other's statuses. You know, deep conversation. You post a joke, they send a, a, a laughing face. They post okay. a joke, I think it just y- you send it a depends. laughing face. It depends on the history. I feel like it's giving, still have ties too, especially mm-hmm. well, for, for everybody. I, I, again, ah. it's just me. Okay, you laying down with your husband. You laying down with your husband. There is someone, even though it never went anywhere, there was never any, like, level of intimacy or anything, but the reality is we met on a dating app. And you there laughing at the start. I said, yeah, who that is? How you know him? What's funny? Yeah. Who, who that is? How, how, <laughs> how you made him? Joke? I know him. Who that is? Okay. That's, that's an awkward. What's the joke? No, because, I give because y'all are married, then, I'm married. And then so. on, on the flip side, if that, if, if, if that man dated of a female or three let's say that man dated three females right Mm -hmm. and they just hold on to the relationship they're just friends and these two women got married and y'all lay up and you want to kiki the status what's what's the joke what's the joke i see nothing funny Yeah. What, Listen, what's funny? I acquiesce to y'all. I ain't never been laying next to nobody in no bed. <laughs> yeah. Who could uh, ask me what I laughing about on my phone? I and I have to answer. Know. Yeah, it, it, it makes it easier. Not. It makes it easier for you, number one, to always be able to be honest with your spouse without having to gulp or think for a second, like, how are we going to take this? So for me, 
Okay, let, just for me, and y'all could call it insecure, y'all could call it what y'all want, call it. Um, you meet someone on a date app, why are they still in your phone? If that's how y'all met, why are they still in y'all phone? Why, why are they still in I your phone? I don't delete numbers because I need, I need to know what number not to answer. You could just block it and delete. Why are we blocking people, though? Why are you saving numbers yeah. to know what not to answer? Because suppose there's a plumber. How many other plumbers are out here? But I, I got the plumber number in my phone. Why can't I can't just call them? Please Google everything else. Why you can't Google plumber? I don't Google plumbers. I don't Google somebody plumbers. in your family, somebody, some relative knows a plumber. The other day, I just had that problem. The one, the one plumber I, I know I could rely on was out of the country, and I was stuck. I had to go. I had to go on my status. Hey, y'all! I need plumbers. No man, I can need to save the plumber number. But listen, yeah, y'all you, you are got speaking. A lot of deleting to do, friend. Y'all are speaking from the perspective of married women. I have never listen to me. I have never been. Okay, I have been in long term relationships, but at the time in my life that I was in long term relationships, we weren't we weren't governed by these things. Mm-hmm. Okay. We were still old school with bbm like bbm was was when i was in like a long-term committed relationship i have not been in a long-term committed relationship since then where someone had access to my phone and felt as though like they could make a demand or a suggestion as to who i should talk to or who i shouldn't be talking to i've always been single with my iphone always i may have been dating i may have been talking to somebody but an actual committed relationship? No. So when I cross that bridge, of course I know that there are people that will have to eventually be like, okay, well, I'm in a relationship now, so things are going to change. But why would I do that now? Um, As I mean, a single woman. Is there, is, is there an instance or have you... Um, did you enter into any one of those friendships? Okay, let me put it like this. Let's say you do a dating app. Mm-hmm. You meet someone. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he ain't for you, you ain't for him. Right. But as, as far as a friendship goes, y'all are completely compatible. Like, he's like the perfect person to confide in. You're the perfect person for oh, him to I confide in. Nutty. All of that. Okay, so, wh- okay, but still, why open that door? You see it as an open door. I see it as this person is fixed TVs. I need a TV fixer in my phone. This person know exactly what to do in this particular situation because they've been there before with their dryer. I can need to know what to do with the dryer. Is this ain't no deep conversation? This is not a. I'm just saying the genesis makes the difference, though. Y'all met on a dating app. I understand. You. I, listen, I understand where y'all coming from as married women, but I don't have the same perspective. And again, what is stopping me but that's the thing. from banter? What, what, like, why would I stop? What's the reason? But that's the thing. This is not just from a married perspective. If I was single, I mean, if we already date, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. I'm trying to, based on the origin of this relationship we started and then one day and y'all know how people go one day oh I just I know we decided to be friends how many movies we watch I I know we decided to be friends no this is what we go into right oh no but this happens yeah this happens where people who have been best friends for years you one day Time now, you married, post up with your husband, and you won't come confess your love. Mm-hmm. How all these years you were just hoping for the right opportunity? No, this is over. It's done. Benito, there are professionals, and there are, there, there's a reason we call them professionals, mm-hmm. and you call them when you need help. Or oh, they go to your husband and say, you know, she was the one that got away. Now, you got to explain. Oh, God. Are you, uh, Don't even come around me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Don't it's, it's still, way. for the future, it might be opening a door that might work against you. Okay. I could take it as advice now, but I, in my current state, I don't see any issue with it because I don't have no deep connections with them. Okay. It's just like, uh, hey, funny. Okay. 
It ain't nothing deep. Uh, Adisha says, no, well, no, well, you could use offline maps. Adisha, if you don't come off this <laughs> But for real, if you consistently never have minutes slash data, red flag, because mm-hmm. I'm constantly annoyed that I can't reach you. Absolutely. Crystal, you leave me alone. Yeah. How about that? How about that? She says, <laughs> uh, Marisha, y'all need to do can men and women be friends? I know, because with these two and the other answers, no. Um, you never know. You don't know what my answer is. LMBO, say what funny. What funny? I waiting on the joke. Boy, <laughs> 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 listen. All right, the one day. He don't want no one I ever date to be on my WhatsApp. Kiki, ki, ki, but we still go. Exactly. Like I say, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But here's the thing. How do I know? How do I know that persons who I have dated in the moment now, like, how do I know now that they weren't, that it didn't work out then, but it, but it can work out in the future? How do I know that as a single woman? That, that, okay, this is a different, the same statement from what we talking about? No, I'm, add, I'm adding to it now. Okay. Let's say I, I meet this person on, 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 Bumble. Mm. I mean, this person on Bumble, we go on three dates. By the third date, um, okay, let me give you a scenario that's actually happening. Third date, he doesn't want kids. Let's say he's about 10 years older than I am. He doesn't want kids. He already has kids. And two of his kids are grown. His last child getting ready to graduate from, from, from my school getting ready to go into college. As far as he's concerned, all of his children are out of the way. So he's not interested in kids. Um, he's been married already. And he's willing to get remarried, but not interested in kids. Right. So how do I know that there is absolutely no way that he does not change his mind at some point in time? Uh, to find no, out. I'm not waiting to find out. I'm just saying, oh, okay. if I'm single, mm-hmm. if I'm single, me and this person dated for dated for those three dates or whatever. I realize, okay, no, I want children. He don't want children. Okay, cool. We ain't gonna work out. Um, I am not initiating conversation with you, but there have been times when, like, I posted a flyer of me doing something or a video or something or whatever, and he'd be like, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, this is awesome. Congratulations or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not deep conversation. It's literally, it actually, in all three situations that I could think of, all of it is usually replies to a status, either a joke or something serious, and they're like, oh, congratulations, or this is really good or whatever. What, what harm is that doing? That's your answer. I know what you're talking about. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Adisha says, if he ain't work out, I delete. If it ain't, if we ain't work out, I delete your number. If we ain't work out as friends, I'm deleting your number. Oh, wow. If he told you up front, he means that. I agree. Uh, Marisha, stop it, man. You have to assume that all men, platonic or ex, date are attracted to you and will always be, despite their or your relationship status, deep convo or not. not. That's just my opinion. Don't mess with that. Y'all incompatible. I never said that I don't think they're not attracted to me. But nobody has given me a reason why in my singleness I need to disconnect. Because it won't work. Yeah, Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um, trying to make it work. I just, I'm not the type of person to be like, okay, I block in this person for no reason. What am I doing that for? I'm not saying block them. Oh, just don't have their number in your phone. The world is too vast. We, we, we mentioned blocking because you say, I need to know who not to answer. And I say, okay, well, since you don't want to answer them, just block them. One yeah, time. but why have to delete the number of my phone? The oh. number could just be there. What's oh. the purpose in deleting the number? But why do why you have to save it to not answer it? Because if he's a plumber, we need to call a plumber. It's it's giving using. It's giving you could call using you for what you do. Call find somebody else. Call somebody else. If, admit, if, maybe that's just me. Call somebody else. How much other people could call? We got a million plumbers around here. 
if a man comes in the picture and he says, okay, <clears throat> you know, this is exclusive, we now, then I make adjustments. I don't see why I have to make adjustments now. I have no one demanding my life. Okay, but your question just now was regarding what if there's a spinning of the block and it could work out now. Yeah, yeah. yeah why yeah. did you say that in a prophetic voice? I'm sorry. A spinning a of, spinning of the, block. Spin the block. Yeah, I'm you know I I don't I don't want to sound insensitive, right? But you know how much flights I miss? And ain't no plane never turned back for me. I just had to wait for the next available flight. Yep, your ticket was paid for when you missed the flight? Yeah, it was. Okay. That's all I wanted to confirm. Yeah, but I, I be cheap. I was getting non-refundable. Like, okay. No, but what I'm saying is, you know, the world is too big. I don't believe, like, there's this one special person. Like, if he born in the middle of the jungle in Africa, somehow he can find you because that's the only one person God have you. I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that notion. Um, but I think that the world is too vast. There are too many good men out there to hold on to be holding on to somebody who number one didn't come, didn't come correct the first time. Not to say he can't change his mind or what's not, but I think that's just we just have to accept the fact that some things just ain't come at the right time, and you just have to move on. That's just. Me. Okay, but y'all keep saying holding on. What does holding on look like? I mean, when I say holding on, I mean keep any number in your phone. That's not holding on. That's just a number in my phone. It doesn't mean anything. Keeping contact. It doesn't mean anything. And okay. I, don't I, get, know, I get what you're saying. I don't know what y'all phones look like, but I have over 5,000 contacts in my phone. You love that for you, woman. Well, you know, I exchange number too much for that. I have over 5,000 contacts in my phone. On any given day, I could have 300 replies to a status. Those don't mean anything to me. Sorry for the people who's replied to my status. But that doesn't mean we bosom buddies. That just means you like whatever I post. You find it funny. If I, if I decide I want to like, um, laugh back, I laugh back. If I don't laugh back, I don't laugh back. I don't consider that personal. But when he come, when he reach, when the one he send reach, right? Mm -hmm. You going through your phone? What do you mean? As far as persons that you would have met. Go under my phone to do what? Delete numbers. No. I just, that's, don't, that's I just won't respond. Because I don't have a reason to delete the number. What am I deleting the number for? Okay. For them to then message me and then for me to be like, who this is? What? And then I have to respond to the person because I don't know the number. But if I keep the number in my phone, I could just not respond. Okay. I see what you're saying now. So you need to, you need to join, join A. I see what you're saying. You're saying lock and delete. I, I mean, I, <laughs> there, is, there is no use for this relationship. In I so disagree. Whether you reply to my status or not. I disagree. As a matter of fact, don't reply to my status. I disagree. I, I believe don't as Christians, as believers, <coughs> we have, res have a responsibility to ensure that, no, you have influence and you have impact. So, no, the relationship is not pointless. The relationship is pointless for me, right? <coughs> it didn't work out. It probably won't work out in the future. We don't work together. Don't watch my status. Don't, don't try to keep up with my life. If we are honest, most men love to keep up with women to see what's going on in, in their lives, to know how they can ease their way in, whether we like to accept that or not. This is only my opinion. This is how I handle it. Okay. Yeah, it don't work like that for me. Love that for you. Um, <laughs> Mom says, I kept someone number in my phone who I should have deleted. Let's just say that did not end well. Mm. Um, Adisha says, I ain't replied, replying to your status. <laughs> don't. Don't. Because it don't matter. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I ain't trying to be insulting, but that's not a conversation to me. That's just a reply. Because we have to also tell the truth. <coughs> WhatsApp is not like texting. WhatsApp is more like social media. Which is why I have two numbers. And the majority, no the, ma yeah. the majority of people who are close to me don't have that second number. If you ain't close to me, you don't have that number. <laughs> um, Crystal says, if I was single, the numbers would have stayed too. No lie. 
never know when you may need a favor. But we ain't no friends. And I agree with that. But I just need favors. I don't listen. It is be rough in these streets as a single woman. I just need plumbers. I just need mechanics. I the washing machine break the other day and I had to find somebody to go out. And it is what it is. Sam says you don't have to block or delete no one. Y'all could develop real friendship, particularly if nothing deep occurred in the relationship. Never wait for men to change their mind if y'all serious. And if he's revealed his intent and desires, always remember men love women differently. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Um, <laughs> Dominique says, I am Marisha and Marisha is me. I manage my phone. My phone doesn't manage me. Um, and Adisha says, I agree. I agree, Joyne. My WhatsApp is personal. If me and you did not work out, I'm not keeping your number. And then when I get in a committed relationship, it makes it so much easier. I'm so happy for y'all. <laughs> As we are for you. <laughs> I am so happy for y'all. But no, I don't operate like that at the moment. If things change, then I'll let y'all know. If I still have a show when things change. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta yeah. go, y'all, because it's yeah. late. Um, get you some good girlfriends. Uh, that's what we say at the end of every show. Have we decided whether or not our husband is on the dating app or not? I know. When I meet somebody in the flash, who tell me they meet their husband on the dating app, I can let y'all know. I ain't meet nobody who met their husband on the dating app yet in the flesh and in person. However, I believe that, like Vera said, we shouldn't box, we shouldn't box the situation in. I believe that we should be open to however it decides to happen and i think that what's most important is that whatever decision that we make um i made reference to it when i was um commenting on what john a was saying like when you enter into whatever decision you make in terms of how you decide to be open just make sure that you don't do it ill-advisedly that you don't do it on air that you don't do it just because, but that you do it with careful prayer and consideration. And um, and make sure, you know, as you go out there and you dating, we say get you some good girlfriends. You need them good girlfriends who you can share your location with. Mm -hmm. Just in case a ninja act the fool. Mm -hmm. Okay? Put your location on and, and make sure that, you know, you have a little code word to say, hey. You in there for me, but by such and such, then oh. you know where to pull up, pull and it is up. what it is. Yep. And pull up on me. Pull up on me. All right? And then um, I would say this last thing, too, as we close. I would say, um, get you that girlfriend who can look at this person that you are dating whenever they get to the place as of meeting this person and be like, friend, I know, boy, and be able to receive it. Because a lot of us who have genuine good girlfriends in our lives, some of us are in marriages now regretting that we was in marriages that our friends told us, no, that wasn't it. You should have left that one alone. You should have walked away. Because I get to tell you from the first beginning, that wasn't the one for you. So I would say listen to, our, listen to your girlfriends when, if you know your girlfriend genuinely loves you, she ain't a hater, she ain't trying to take your mind, she just saying this one ain't for you, listen to what she have to say. Listen to what she have to say. If she genuinely loves you, I don't think she just wants you to be single and alone. She really looking at this person and saying, yeah, no, damn for you. That's another problem. Yeah. I listen, I'm ready now. <laughs> I'm blocking That's another me. hour easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, go ahead. We need ahead. to swing the block on that one. Maybe you already did it. It don't, even, it, don't, it don't make sense doing it. You did it, you did it too. Okay. <laughs> Crystal say, oh, she, I didn't read this? No. As a, as a single woman, I ain't got to move no one out my phone. Oh. Mm -hmm. But be real. When you get in a relationship, mm -hmm. you know exactly who needs to get blocked. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. But I am, I am actually at the place in my life where there's no one in my phone like that that need to get blocked. I, I don't have nobody in my pocket. Watch out for the show. They don't message you. Just, you know? No, I ain't got nobody in my pocket. And Dominique say live location at that. Absolutely, we do in live locations. We do it live locations. What's up, guys? Listen, y'all, it has been an amazing show. Um, we have shows coming up. We do. I did not put the next one in like I should have, but we do have another show coming up, Carol. We do. 
Go ahead. All right. Next week, Monday, same time, same place, right here on Girl Talk. And I'm trying to find. Ah, okay. This the one. We, when we said it last week, a friend of mine was like, you need to make sure I send my reminder because I need to be <laughs> in the it's chat. to be continued. Yes. But next week, Monday, November 11th, right here, same time, same place, Girl Talk 242 at 4 p.m. <laughs> hey, we got triple M. Oh. Yada bullshit. Money, men, and marriage. This could be a good one. Ooh. I can't wait. I'm this, so I think that they're that, that going to need to be like a two-part. Because you just can't say money, men, and marriage, and then that, that ain't two hours. So we, might, that we might we might need to make that a two-party. Yeah, I think okay. we need to make that We go hold party. off. We go hold off on the next flyer to mm. see how that one go, and then we'll know if we'll do it to be continued Ooh. or not. I got to say that again, because men ain't a word in, like, real Bahamian vernacular. Like, plural and singular is man. So <laughs> money, man, <laughs> and marriage. Thank you. Should have been on the flyer. <laughs> yes. Change the flyer, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> so that's what's coming up on our next show. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. For those of you who tune in today, thank you so much for your support. We definitely don't take it lightly. We don't take it for granted. We love you all. We love all of our girlfriends out there. Yes. And listen, we can't wait to have this conversation again. Keep it locked into Glory Daddy 3.9 FM. We've got great programming coming your way. The guys should be back in the studio tomorrow with Barbershop Talk. And then, of course, the men of God um, are also going to be back in the studio on Thursdays with more than talk um delton and vera with that good morning tea yes. on saturdays and of course joy nay is here every weekday with the shift so you definitely yes. want to keep it locked into glory 93.9 fm unfortunately we gotta go for today so we signing out for now saying have an amazing monday have a glory filled monday and keep it locked into glory 93.9 fm we love y'all we going bye Hey girl, let's talk. Tell me why you're so stressed. It's it's a state of not being sexually active or getting married. Can I can I get an amen as a teacher? Amen. Every bad thing that has happened in your life, you can need to get over it. And this is me telling you. If you don't remember nothing else, the cycle has to be broken. And not only that, just because mommy and daddy and Grammy and great great Grammy and all these other people dealt with it, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you have to tolerate it. It doesn't mean that you have to live yeah. and your children have to live in that cycle. Hey girl, let's talk. Tell me don't lie to yourself and say that you are guarding your heart Ugh. when the only thing you're doing is laying brick over brick over oh. brick and building a wall. Cause I'm just like you, I feel what you're going through, there's so much inside of